Hello and welcome. Today I'm doing a little bit of an updates video as well as a bit of a preview of things that are going to be coming on my channel. So if you'd like to see that, just keep on watching. I wanted to take this video as kind of an opportunity to, as I mentioned, provide some updates, but also to just kind of talk about some things that I might have forgotten to mention about certain products in previous videos or things that I hadn't quite noticed yet or experienced yet. So I wanted to start with the Lisa Eldridge Foundation. I know I've talked about this quite a lot recently on my channel, but I just wanted to give a little bit of an update on this. And basically, I just haven't been able to stop wearing this. I've been falling more and more in love with it. Nothing else quite smooths my skin and really gives it a perfected yet still natural look like this foundation. And as I've mentioned before, I'm so, so happy with this shade one. It's just a really great shade for me. And it works all over the face. It works as both foundation and concealer. But another thing that I also wanted to mention is the Makeup Forever um, Ultra HD Concealer. This pairs so well with this foundation. So I just kind of wanted to let you know about that. The foundation is a self-setting foundation and the concealer is also a self-setting concealer. I found out about this concealer from Alana Davison on YouTube. She talks about this all the time. It's one of her holy grail concealers. And I've really come to love it, especially since I've been pairing it with the Lisa Eldridge foundation. And also especially in the colder months now where my skin is at its palest. I have this in shade 10 and it's a really, really pale shade and it's even paler than the Lisa Eldridge. So if I want to get more sort of definition and um, highlighting from my concealer while I'm using even the lighter shade of the Lisa Eldridge foundation, that concealer is just perfect. So there's what the shade 10 of the Makeup Forever concealer is compared to the Lisa Eldridge foundation. So you can see it's an even brighter and lighter color. And so it's perfect to, to pair with that. And I've just been loving the two of those together. The next thing I wanted to mention is the Gucci powder. Now I did mention this already in a recent video, but I just wanted to do a little update on it. Um, not really an update, I'm still loving it, still using it the same way but I've realized in using it more that it reminds me a lot of the Chantecaille Eclat Dew powder, which is great because uh, this powder is extremely expensive. You get seven grams in this and it's their balm powder and it's a perfect finishing powder. It's really creamy, kind of balmy texture and really gives a beautiful sort of smoothing yet still moisturized finish to the face. And I find that the Gucci is really similar. It feels similar, it feels a little drier in the pan, but I think that the effect when you put it on the face is pretty much the same. And I know it's kind of weird to think of Gucci product as a bargain, but compared to the Chantecaille, it is much cheaper and you get three grams more product. There are 10 grams in the Gucci and they do basically the same job. So I'm really very happy to have discovered that Gucci powder and it's another one that I've been using a whole lot. So that's the Gucci in 00 0.5 and then that's the Eclat Du. I also wanted to mention the Sisley So Intense Mascara. Now this is one I'm including kind of because I wish I had included it in my recent favorites video. Uh, I've been loving this mascara. It's what I'm wearing today and I think it's just very powerful if you want a really strong mascara look but it still makes your lashes look really beautiful and fluttery, but it gets a lot of product on there and does it in a very nice way. The wand, I've used this on my channel before, but it was probably a few months ago. The wand is unusual. It only has these tiny little teeth on this side and then this side is smooth. So the way that I like to use it is to first comb through with the teeth and then flip it over and get all the extra product onto the lashes, just right from the roots, just kind of place it in there. And then I flip it over to the wand side again with the teeth and just uh, paint through and spread that product through the lashes and it works so well. And then with what whatever's left on the uh, wand, I just do my bottom lashes and it's just a really special mascara. Now I have to talk about the uh, Victoria Beckham Beauty Cheeky Posh Cream Blushes. Again, I know I also talked about these in my recent favorites video, but I got a new shade during the Black Friday promotions and I got the shade Playground and I have been loving it so much. It might be my favorite shade. So I'm just going to show you all the relevant comparisons from this line right now. So that one's mini skirt. 
This one here is Knickers. Um, and Knickers is kind of like a melony peach color. It has a, a nice amount of yellow in there, which I actually really like in a blush. And then this one here is the new one to me, which is Playground. So you can see they're all in a similar family. They all have that beautiful kind of nude quality, but just different variations on it. And Knickers has just been so beautiful. Like I was a little bit concerned about it. That's why I didn't buy it at first because I thought it might be a little too orangey and brown, too warm, but it looks really beautiful on the skin and it's a, a wonderful natural everyday color. I'm wearing it today actually on top of the Patrick Ta blush in She's Sincere and they play very well together. She's Sincere also works really nicely with the Knickers shade too. Um, but I like to apply the Patrick Ta all over as my main blush and then a little bit of uh, either Playground or Knickers on top, just right around here. Looks really nice, but they each work really beautifully on their own as well. It's just if I'm going for a more full-on makeup look, um, I like to, to pair a powder and a cream blush together. And now I'll just update you on this blush as well. This She's Sincere from Patrick Ta. This is beautiful. I don't have anything really new to say about it since I talked about it, I think in my uh, Sephora sale haul video, but I just love how sheer and buildable it is and looks really smooth and effortless on the skin. The other thing I wanted to mention about the Cheeky Posh blushes is that they work really well on the lips too. They're kind of like a satin matte feel on the lips. They feel very comfortable. Sometimes when you use cream blush products on the lips, I find they can feel a little bit powdery to the touch, like on, that's the sensation on the lips, but I don't find that these have that at all. They just feel like a normal satiny matte lipstick. I'm wearing them today, actually. I have um, the shade Playground all over, and then I just patted a little bit of Knickers right in the middle for a little bit of dimension, and they actually wear quite quite well too. They, they set down and um, hold on to the lips pretty well as well. Those are a great multi-purpose product. I also wanted to quickly mention something about the Huda Rose Quartz palette that I didn't mention in either of the videos where I talked about it. Um, I didn't really talk about this kind of jelly shade in my videos, but I had a little brief exchange with uh, a viewer in my comments the other day um, you know, who wasn't very excited about this shade. And I know that that's a, a popular opinion. A lot of people aren't, uh, aren't keen on that shade. I understand that it is visually, uh, very unappealing for some people. I don't particularly mind it, but I, I get it. Um, but I just wanted to mention that this is actually quite useful. I'm just going to swatch it here. It's pretty hard to see because it is a sheer kind of jelly cream, uh, formula. And it does crease when it's put on the lids on its own for me. But I watched Huda's video on this palette and she explained a little bit more about this shade and how she likes to use it and she demonstrated. And I've tried her method with it and really like it. So what she does is she kind of uses it almost like I would use the Pat McGrath Artistry wand. So where you layer that on the eye and then you're layering something else on top of it to intensify the shimmer and the color. And this works beautifully in that way as well. So I actually like having it in this palette because you could, for example, put one of these um, uh, duochrome, really kind of flaky metallic shades or even one of the more standard metallic shades. You could put that all over. And then if you wanted to use the same shadow or a different one, um, just in certain areas in a more intense way. If you wanted to do an intense halo eye or you wanted to add a little bit of a detail in the inner crease area, for example, you can apply a little bit of this uh, creamy jelly shade and then on top of it, apply the other shade or the same shade. And it's going to add a really great dimensionality and an almost wet look to the eye. And when that creamy shade is set down with another uh, powder shadow, it doesn't crease at all. It stays really well throughout the whole day. So I just wanted to mention that in case people were hesitant about this palette, maybe for that reason, or didn't know how to use um, that particular shade. I find that that works really well. And if you wanted to see it in action, I'd recommend watching Huda's video where she uses this palette. I think the last little update I wanted to mention is on this Sonia G brush. This is the Face Pro. Again, I talked about this in my 
current favorites video that I posted recently, but I, I just forgot to mention uh, something about the way this feels. It's a very airy feeling brush. So although it might look quite dense, it's like almost bouncy in how airy it is. There seems to be a lot of space in between the fibers and it feels very, very light. And for that reason, you can get a very light application of product with this as well. And it's extremely flexible because of the, the way the fibers are put together. So I just wanted to mention that it's a really kind of bouncy, airy feeling brush and really nice for applying powder all over the face, but also gives you the ability with this more angled edge to get into smaller areas like under the eyes and it won't apply too much product and has the ability to really, really buff things out very, very easily and quickly because of the fluffiness and the airiness of the brush. Now I just wanted to do a little bit of a preview of things that will be coming on my channel. Uh, I mentioned in, I think my black, Friday sales preview video that I was keeping an eye on a few different brands and websites and products of things that I was interested in getting. And I was able to get most of the things I was interested in on a sale. So I just wanted to share those and let you know that there will be videos coming up where I'm gonna be using those products. So the first is the Charlotte Tilbury Nudegasm Face Palette. I'm actually wearing it today. Um, I used the two uh, bronzer contour shades today, these two here, and I actually mixed these two upper shades here together and kind of put it all over my um, neck and chest and shoulders for a little bit of an added glow and it works really nicely for that. So I will be at least using these two in an upcoming video and to just share my thoughts on these two um, more shiny highlighter powders. This one works really nicely as a blush. I have to be a little bit careful with it because it can pull a little bit orangey warm on me. So I find it's better if I'm using this without any bronzer in the mix. Um, it just tends to, to warm things up and make things a little bit muddy looking if I'm using this paired with a bronzer, but it actually works really nicely if it's just paired with this contour shade because it's pretty cool toned. And so those two play well together, but I do just have to be a little bit careful with that uh, shade that I use as a blush. But as I mentioned, it works really nicely um, on the body as well. And then the highlighter, it's a little bit darker than I would prefer. Also just a touch uh, warmer than I would prefer. Just a little bit warmer um, than I would like for my skin, at least right now. It might be really nice in the summer actually, but I do really like it over the body as well. Now I also mentioned that I had my eye on Olivia Palermo Beauty and she did have a Black Friday sale 25% off and I was able to order an eyeshadow palette and a lipstick. So those will be coming. It might be a while before they arrive, but they'll be coming and I'll, I will use them on my channel and review them. So I'm really excited for those to come. And I also wanted to mention uh, Lisa Eldridge's eyeshadows should be coming out very soon. They may even be out or the release date may have been announced by the time I'm posting this video, but she's got the five shades of the Liquid Lurex eyeshadows that are coming out. They've already been released in her pop-up store in London, and I know that people who have been able to go in person have, have been able to purchase those eyeshadows already, but they will be coming very soon if they're not out already for online ordering. And I do intend to get all five of the shades and of course do a full review and demo uh, video on my channel. The other thing that I had my eye on was the Huda Beauty website because I was interested in trying some of her Glowish products and she had a really good sale on during the, the Black Friday Cyber Week sales. So I was able to order the tinted moisturizer or the skin tint the um, finishing powder or the foundation powder, that glowy, glowish powder, as well as uh, the glowish bronzer. So those will be coming to me and I'm sure I'll be able to incorporate them into a video at some point as well. All of that is coming up on my channel and more. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those below. I always love to see them. If you'd like to see more from me and you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I'd really love for you to do so. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.